morning. It's been a while, I know, and I apologise. Um, it's about the 18th of August uh, today. I think it's, no, it's Monday, definitely. I know it's Monday. Um, it's early. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning. But I thought I'd get a vlog off quickly um, and then I can get started uh, with this whole journey. Um, basically, the last couple of months that I haven't been doing vlogs, the weight thing not been going good. Um, you probably guessed that, hence why I've been uh, not recording anything. Um, I don't know. I don't know whether I've just lost faith with the whole 5-2 thing. I've just got a bit bored, maybe, with it. I kept trying to get back on it. I mean, I had sort of two or three days where I would be really good and then something would go wrong and I'd just, you know, start eating bad food again. So, um, weight-wise, it's just been going up and up and up and I shall be um, weighing myself in a minute so you can see, you know, how much weight I've gained. Um, also, work has been really busy, hence why I'm not uh, vlogging at the um, salon anymore. Um, is because I'm just mad at work at the moment. You know, I'm leaving here at sort of eight in the morning and I'm not getting home till like half six, seven o'clock in the evening. And that's most days. Um, and I've also been working Saturdays as well. So it's just all been a bit, ah, which is, you know, good for me. I'm not complaining. You know, when you've got people coming in and it's your own business, then, you know, it's only good news because it means you're making money. But on the other hand, when you're a one-man band like I am, sometimes you just think, oh, I could do with a day off, you know. But anyway, um, hopefully it'll carry on like this for a good while longer. You know, I'm expecting uh, business to sort of slow down by Christmas and then I can get back to doing more vlogs. So why am I vlogging today? Well, I've decided to uh, do the 30-day juice fast. Um, now, if you've watched the um, Fat, Sick and Nearly Dead uh, programme, which I think is just inspiring to everyone who watches it, um, it looks really hard, I have to say. I'm not thinking it's going to be easy, but I just think I need to do something different to get my weight going, um, weight loss going again. Because, as I said, I've just become a bit disillusioned and um, the weight has not been going down, it's been going up. So, um, hence why I'm standing here in my jimmies, um, because I said it's early, it's about 7.20 and I've got to get moving so I can get to work. But anyway, this is the um, recipe um, for the fat, sick and nearly dead. Let me show you. So that's it there, green juice recipe. It's basically kale and I've also put spinach, I know that's not... Um, part of it but this time of year because it's still summer I might not be able to get kale so I might substitute it with spinach I don't think it really matters what you put in it as long as you do it uh, half a lemon, ginger, green apples, celery and cucumber and no not nail varnish it's just to remind me to get some nail varnish because that would be really funny if it was nail varnish as well um however uh, problem is that i don't have a juicer at the moment so i'm slightly cheating on the whole juice front let's get my fridge open um so at the moment i'm going to be having this one the Causton press uh beetroot which is like 100% beetroot uh, juice. I'm going to be having that for breakfast and um, for evening. Now, let me just see if I can find the ingredients. Ingredients, ingredients. There we go. So we've got... Oh, I hope that's coming in okay. Um, come on, focus, focus. Anyway, it says 90% beetroot juice, 10% apple juice in that one, and vitamin C. No added sugar blah 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 um, and this one is the V8 um, vegetable juice original this one unfortunately has got a bit more um, rubbish in it where's the ingredients do, do, do. lots of things in foreign languages as well so this one is tomato juice 89% and then 10% carrot celery blah 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 unfortunately it has got salt in it which is not brilliant and it is also from concentrate but at the, it's all I could get and I didn't want to just eat beetroot to just eat just drink beetroot juice I thought that'd be a bit boring so um, I'm gonna have this one at lunchtime and this one I'll take to work and have it at lunchtime and this is just until my new um, 
juicer arrives. I have um, ordered a new juicer. Should be here, so today's Monday. I'm hoping it'll be here by Wednesday or Thursday. And then I'll start with the um, fresh natural juicing. Um, and I'll show you that uh, when I do it. Anyway, um, let me weigh myself now. Uh, and I know this is not gonna be a pretty picture, but here we go. See that? Yeah, 16.9. Uh, yes, not good, is it? That is not good. Not good at all. Ah, oh, dear. So this is the Chawton uh, press one, and I'm sorry I might be talking a bit quietly. It's because Nick's still in bed. Um, Flussie's here. Come here, Fluss, Fluss, Fluss. Are you good, Kim? Are you good, Kim? Are you good, Kim? Oh, are you good? What's going on? What's going on? Hey, you good, me and Floss will be going off to work shortly. Um, so, uh, let's try this. I hope this is nice because I've got to drink this for a couple of days. So, um, one litre in here. So, I think the gl a glass is, what, 250? So, right, here we go. Ooh, smells really beetrooty. Ooh, right. I think it's an acquired taste. Um, anyway, bottoms up. Ugh. Oh God, now I splash it on my white top. Never wear a white top when you're pouring beetroot. Oh, let's get a bit of soap on it. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. Oh, right, here we go. Bottoms up. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Beetroot juice, that apparently is really good for you. Oh, I'm not sure I could drink this. Ugh. I hope my juicer arrives really quickly. Um, the juicer I've ordered is um, a professional one. It's a whole fruit juicer. It wasn't very expensive. Juicers have really come down in price recently. I had a juicer about 10, maybe 15 years ago. Really expensive juicer. And it cost me about, um, I want to say sort of 250, 300 quid. A lot of money. And it was a really good juicer, don't get me wrong. It was really good. Quite noisy. Um, again, it was a whole fruit one where you put it in the top and then sort of had a plunger and pushed it down. But it was huge. I mean, the whole juicer was probably, I don't know, that sort of size, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, and the only thing against it was the fact that cleaning it was a real pain. You had a tool, you had to sort of, almost like a toolkit, you had to take the whole thing apart and then you had all these bits and filters and sieves and all sorts of things, blades, and you had to clean it all and then you had to put it all back together again. So um, I didn't bring that with us when we moved, I have to say. I'm afraid that went down the old uh, charity shop or thrift shop, as you call them in America. Um, so I've now ordered, as I said, a new um, professional, so-called professional, uh, juicer. I read the reviews on um, a well-known shopping site and it was a really got sort of five-star, you know, reviews from everybody, four or five-star reviews. And everybody said it was easy to use, it was easy to clean and then it did like all the sort of regular fruit and veggies and stuff. So hopefully that will, as I said, come sometime this week and we can get cracking um, with the fresh juices because this is revolting, but I've bought it now and I've got to do it. So thumbs up for the 30-day fast and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.